Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at designing a business card in Adobe Photoshop. And this is what the final design is going to look like. As you can see, we're going for a really cool retro effect in this design. And I think everything flows together nicely and it's pulled off nicely on this business card. Now, before I get started on teaching you guys how to actually design it, let me talk about the business card itself really quick and this template really quick. So I'm going to click on image, image size, and let's talk about the size of this. The size of this template, it has a width of 3.627 inches and a height of 2.17 inches and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Now, actual printed business cards have a width of 3.5 inches and a height of 2 inches. This template has an extra, one, extra 0.127 inches added onto both the width and the height to allow for bleed room because when business cards get printed and cut, there's extra stuff that might get cut off on the sides. So this little area is put there to make sure that nothing important gets cut off. And the resolution is 300 pixels per inch to make sure that your business card looks professional and as high quality as possible. So you could download this template using the link in the video description below. What you get when you download this template is obviously the presets that I already showed you guys. And also you get these little guidelines um, and what these do is they're just there to make sure that you don't put any important information on the sides because those are the sides that might get cut off. So with that being said, I'm going to delete all of this and let's get started with the actual design. So the first thing that we want to do is grab the rectangle tool and we want to make a blue rectangle that fills up most of our business card and the color for this rectangle is going to have a hex code of 0D. 1F30 and press OK. And with that being said, let's make a new layer. Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, Control Shift N if you're on Windows. And let's make this rectangle. Just click and drag. And that looks pretty good. So next up, we want to select the text tool and change the color to white and type in some information. I'm using the font Stony Island NF. And I'll also provide the link to this font in the video description below. It's a pretty cool retro looking font. So let's type in my name, Hiller Abrahamian. And I'm going to use a 18 point font for this. Or actually, let's do 24. Okay, and I'll position it somewhere around there on the left hand side. And let's choose a text tool with a 12 point font this time and type in graphic designer. Okay. That's looking pretty good. And now we're going to choose the line tool and that's hidden under the rectangle tool. We're going to make another new layer and let's make a line. Hold shift to make the line straight. Okay, and then I'm going to reposition these slightly. Okay, and I'm going to choose a text tool again with the same 12 point Stony Island NF font. I'm going to type in my email, admin at octosites.com. And then let's position this where I want it to be positioned. And then let's choose a text tool again with the same font, type in a fake number. I don't recommend trying to call this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And we'll position this where we want it to be positioned. Okay, and that's looking good so far. Now what we want to do is add that orange banner in the middle. So what we're going to do is make a new layer. And we're going to have this orange color with the hex code of DB6C0F. And we're going to choose a rectangle tool again and just make a rectangle. But we're only going to make half of the banner. And that's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is select the rectangular, or not the rectangular, the polygonal lasso tool. And we're just going to cut out a chunk of this banner. Something like that. You pretty much want to cut out a triangle of it. And when you select it all, you should have it selected with the marching ant and just press delete to get rid of it. And command D to deselect or control D to deselect if you're on Windows. 
and now we have half of this banner. So what we're going to do is right click on that banner layer and click on duplicate layer, press OK. And then we're going to press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows and then right click on it and click flip, uh, flip vertical or actually flip horizontal. And then we're just going to click and drag and just match the ends together. And now we have two or the two parts of the banner. So we have the full banner. So now we could select both layers and right click and click on merge layers and position this wherever we want it to be positioned. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to choose a text tool and type in personal websites in this blue font. That looks good. And I'm going to center this in the banner. And then now all that is left is for me or you to type in your websites. Now, if you don't have eight websites like I do, that's going to fill up the entire banner. Uh, you might want to put other stuff like your address, um, uh, other ways to contact you, and other stuff like that. But all that's left from now is to just type in different websites. So octogeek.com, octogfx.com, and I'll make these 12-point font. And then continue typing octotoots.com, octodesigner.com, and just so on and so on. I'm not going to uh, keep you guys waiting for all eight websites. But that's pretty much it. We're pretty much done with this business card design. So I hope you guys learned something. Uh, this is a really great design to pull off anywhere, not just for business cards. The retro design uh, comes in handy a lot. And before I forget, if you guys want business cards printed, make sure to check out my website, octoprinting.com. So let me show you guys that really quick. I actually do own my own business card printing company. And you can get business cards for pretty cheap at octoprinting.com, along with other stuff like business card stickers and business card holders and all that type of stuff. Now, if you're also not up to the task of designing your own business card, please check out octodesigner.com. That's my personal graphic designing website where you could hire me to design stuff like business cards and websites and other stuff for you. So that's it for this video. All links will be in the video description below, including the links to the PSD template uh, for the business card itself. And thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.